Hey everyone, how's it going? Good hope. So, what's everyone been up to? Must admit, I'm enjoying having old Daisy back. It's nice to have some wheels again and not be housebound. I've actually, I've got a. Uh, tomorrow, I've got to. Uh, finish off stripping the frame for the dragster get her stripped down to bare bones get the tyres off the wheels and then Thursday all going to plan she's going in for some powder coat get the frame all coated up and then get on rebuilding her You know how much road do I take? But, um, yeah. Oh, fucking hell. Someone's been spoken. What I wanted to say is I've now, I mean, there's some, some of you might already know, I've got a Facebook page for my YouTube. But, I've also. Now, created another email address and I've made a Facebook account for my YouTube. So, if any of you want to speak to me, uh, ask me questions, uh, suggestions for any videos you want me to do, or so on and so forth, just if anyone wants to contact me in any way. I shall add you on there and I shall speak to you on there I shall post the link oh nice Vespa post the link to the video in the description and up there somewhere as well so I'll link you directly to my page and you can just add me I mean you might also you might already know but I've got a Twitter as well so you can add me on there as well talk to me on there I'll put the I'll put the link for that down there somewhere so yeah good old social media <laughs> anti-social media as I like to call it but Remember the days when people used to get together and actually talk? Now people sit in a room next to each other and talk to each other on the fucking mobile. Uh, makes me feel old. I mean, even I, <laughs> even I remember the days before social media and I'm not very old myself. Tell you what, it's bloody cold tonight. Even old Daisy feels a bit stiff. Don't quite feel at her best. Tell you what, bikes are strange little things. They love it when it's when they when it's cold. The en the engine seems to produce a lot more power when it's cold. But if it gets just that extra little bit. Just an extra degree or two cold, colder, rather. They won't know it, they just start. They go all sluggish. Obviously, they must reach a point where the oil starts to thicken up or something, and it starts to get harder for it to warm up. It's just amazing how fickle vehicles are in it. Slightest little thing can cause the massive, the biggest of fucking problems. See what though. Looking forward to the summer coming back. Some nice springtime rides. Can't wait. I've actually I've got in May a trip to Skegness Butlins booked on the bike. So that should be fun. 
150 mile ride there four night a four night stop there with a couple of friends of mine on bikes and then it's another 150 mile ride back <laughs> all on a roads on a 125 so yeah it's gonna take me about five hours probably that is what you call a num bum run Yeah, it's a, it's a welded arse by the end of that one. Supermotos are not exactly designed for long distance riding. Very narrow seat on them. And, and I know on the WR anyway, I don't know about other supermotos, but on the WR, it's a very hard seat as well. And some of the others, like the, the Pulks and the Sinus and some of the Chinese ones and that, they've got a lovely comfy seat on them, but these are terrible. Just one of them though, isn't it? All different. Yeah, it should be fun. That's a, to be honest, that's about everything I've got to say for today. So, take it easy. Ride safe, and I'll see you next time. Motor Motion, signing out.